Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Trustfire. Now this is their E3R, comes in this box. Now Trustfire sent this to me directly, they wanted me to test and review this light. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the specs. As you can see there, puts out a thousand lumens on turbo. Now if you need more time, go ahead and pause the screen, otherwise we're going to open this up and see what's in. Now my understanding this is a complete kit, so you've got everything you need right in this little box. Here's the user manual. Now it's both in Chinese, English on the other side here. And it looks like everything is in here in the holster. Let's go ahead and release this out. You've got one lanyard. like two O-rings here. And one USB charging cable. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this holster. Now it is on the thin side here, but it does have some insulation and felt on the inside so it's going to be good there. It's got the stretchable material there. Yeah, it does have a metal D-ring on there. Looks like it's double stitched on there so that's pretty good. So you've got double the material there when using it that way. Quick release, remove that. All right, we'll take a look at that later on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. Does have a clip on here. And that is really nice and stiff. You can remove it if you don't want it on there. Now this is a battery level indicator on the power switch. I like this. The design here on the body is pretty interesting. You can table stand that. And here's the charging port here. And I actually like this because the rubber grommet goes all the way around the light. Just doesn't stick in a little hole. Sometimes you lose them. Small. Fits right in your hand. Feels good there. You can use that pinky to activate the light. Hold it like a pencil. A lot of ways you can hold your lights. It's definitely perfect size for EDC. Now the style and design on this is very nice. I'm not seeing any issues here. Machining and finish is very nice. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the 
smooth reflector. Now this is running, uh, never heard of this LED, but it's the XM2-5050 LED. But it almost kind of looks like a luminous LED a little bit there. But a lot of LEDs coming into the market. There's a better picture of it there. But that's what their literature says there on their website that this has in it. So, All right. So now let's go ahead and take it all apart and I'll show you the insides. Show you the spring there. Pretty heavy duty. Grease threads. So that's always a plus. Take the battery out. This is a complete kit. Show you the head of the light. And we got grease on the threads on this end as well, which is good. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the included battery. Now this is a protected cell 18650, and this is 3000 milliamp battery. And I actually tested this cell, it's actually about 2843. So, it's really close, so I don't see any issues with this. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get this all put back together. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go over the UI. Now the UI is actually very simple on this light, uh, as it is with all truss fire lights. You're simply going to turn that side switch on. Starts off on the highest output. We'll do a beam profile here. Nice little centralized hot spot here. Bleeding here on the edges. Nice little cut off there before the spill ends there. So it's probably going to have a little more throw to it. We'll see how it does. And you just keep going down to the UI. That's the lowest light output there. And then we'll show you the battery level indicator here and I'll put those on the screen as well that way you can kind of see what it'll do when it gets to red and blinking you definitely only got about 10 percent of battery power so you definitely want to charge it at that time all right now from any light level you can press and hold to get strobe it takes about two seconds and that is a variable flash speed on that strobe so it's very disoriented yeah it does have memory mode from strobe but it doesn't on the regular UI now I noticed that the UI it does not have memory mode but if you do use strobe say like you had it on medium high or low press strobe and you click it one time to go back to the UI it'll go back to the memorized mode that you had it on before strobe but not on the regular UI so now let's go ahead and take a look at it in the holster you can put it in head first or you can put it in the body first whichever you want feels pretty good in here even with the clip on there and that's what that looks like there it's kind of on the thin side for the material so it's kind of not a perfect straight it's going to provide a basic protection for that light as far as how long it will do it everyday use carrying this on a holster it might start to weaken out a little bit all right well let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Trustfire E3R. 
Now this starts off on the highest setting, so we're going to do it on the tree of life. Let's see how it does. Look at that. 138 feet. That tree from where I'm standing. And it is making the tree behind it. That's 238 feet from this. From where I'm standing. Making a school there. Remember, this is just a small little EDC. And we'll do a before and after here. See there. Very nice wide spill on this. For such a small light as well. And it is making those trees way out there. Impressive. There it is across the park. And it is reaching it, so that's good. Look at the wide spill. Seventy or sixty-five feet to this tree from where I'm standing. Easily making that tree line, fence line. Do a beam profile here. It's the highest output. Might as well do it now. And we're going to go down to the UI. See how it does. There's the next level downward. Still making it across the park. Even at the slight output. And still making the tree of life. Faintly making that 238 feet now. And still making a school too. All right, we're going to do the next level down from here. And it is on the lowest output there. Not quite enough to reach. And it is faintly on that water spout. That's 35 feet. So. This is a low output, so that's, that's really nice. Alright, we're going to end it here on the Tree of Life. And I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Not a bad beam, especially in performance. A thousand lumens actually is quite a bit of light. And the fact that it comes on at the thousand lumens right off the back may have some issues there. Just make sure you unlock and lock out your light there with that tail switch. Or you can use the body as well. But now the performance to me was actually impressive with this. Especially for everyday carry. And the size of the light is very nice. Especially for everyday carry. Also, the beam performance was very nice as far as nice spill area. It's got a nice ability to throw as well. It's not a, it's not a super thrower, but for something you're going to carry with you on the side and you need something, this is going to do a very nice distance as well. Now, overall build quality is very nice on these truss fire lights. I've tested quite a few of them out just recently so now this here is very nice for EDC use so nothing I can say that's bad about the light even the switch feels good you know comes with that 3000 milliamp battery which is actually testing at about 2843 so that's not bad alright well I want to thank Trustfire for sending me this flashlight kit to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting they have an Amazon store and I'll leave a link down there. Now they're gonna have a clip the coupon to save some money on this light. All you do is clip on that make sure you clip on it make sure it's still clipped when you go to your cart to check out 
and that's going to save you some money on this E3R flashlight kit just in case you might be interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this flashlight review. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these trust fire lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.